this video, we're going to be working on problems that involve multiplication of different types of fractions. For the first problem, we're going to go ahead and multiply two mixed numbers. 3 and 1 third times 4 and 1 fifth. The first thing we're going to do is change these mixed numbers to improper fractions. So let's go ahead and do that. For 3 and a third, we take the 3, multiply it by 3, which is 9, add 1, so we get 10 thirds. Multiply it by 4 and a fifth. To make this into an improper fraction, we multiply the 5 times the 4, which is 20, add our 1, which is 21, over 5. Now that we've got our improper fractions, all we do is multiply across. Let's see if we could cross cancel first to make things simpler. We can cross cancel the 5 and the 10. 5 goes into itself once, goes into 10 twice. Now we multiply, well, we could also cross cancel the 3 and the 21. 3 goes into itself once, 3 goes into 21 seven times. Multiply across, 3 times 7 is 14. 1 times 1 is 1, but we don't need to put our 1 down as a denominator. And our final answer is 14. For our last problem, we're going to multiply three proper fractions together. 3 fourths times 8 ninths. Let's go ahead and see if we can first cross cancel. We can cross cancel our 3 and our 9. 3 goes into itself once. 3 goes into 9 three times. We could also cross cancel our 4 and our 8. 4 goes into itself once. 4 goes into 8 two times. Now all we do is multiply across. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 1 times 3 is 3. 3 times 5 is 15. Since this cannot be reduced anymore, our final answer is 4 fifteenths. For your practice problem, go ahead and do 3 and 3 eighths times 4. You can pause the video to work out the problem, then press play to get the answer. Go ahead. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is change this mixed number to an improper fraction. So we multiply the 8 by the 3, which is 24. Add our 3, which is 27, over 8. Change this 4 to a fraction by adding our fraction bar and our denominator of 1. We see if we can cross cancel, which we can. 4 goes into itself once. 4 goes into 8 twice. Now we multiply across. 27 times 1 equals 27. 2 times 1 equals 2. 27 over 2 can be reduced. 2 goes into 27 13 times. There's 1 left over for a final answer of 13 and a half. Remember, practice makes perfect.